This section will be your introduction to Upwork. We will start by researching competitors, existing clients' offers, and a catalog with a fixed price from freelancers. All the information you collect will help you design your profile to look appealing to Upwork and potential clients. Are you ready to empower your Upwork? If so, let's move on to the lecture. I'm glad to see you on the Upwork platform. I'm sure you do something well or, what's more, you are a genuine specialist in your area. Upwork is a great place for growth and compensation for your expertise. But before you start, it's important to understand whether this platform is relevant for your skills. So, in this lecture, I will show how to figure out whether people are interested in your services. In order to do so, you should consider that the jobs catalog includes projects you want to work on. To start with the job catalog, go to the Upwork site. I use the existing Upwork profile in this lecture, but you can also do such research without signing up. It shows the same information, but the interface might be a bit different. After that, Move on to the search field. Among the list of options to look for, choose jobs and click on the search icon. A new window will open and you will see plenty of options which are helpful in finding the best for your needs. Let's start your search with filtration using the most relevant categories. By going to categories, you'll see a lot of options. It helps to find two or more variants for almost every profession. For example, Let's select the design and creative category. When the results are extracted, explore the first two to three pages. Open every project you consider to be interesting. Imagine that you would be like to see more information about this project. Just click on it and a detailed description will open. Read all the information shown here, but pay particular attention to two parameters. Number one, specialization. I want you to understand that this isn't the same as a category we have chosen previously. To help you find out what each means, I have put the link with its description under the lesson. Number two, a list of skills that the client considers important for completing this project. I advise you to put this data in a separate table. This doesn't require much time to do, but it helps you optimize your profile and make it the most relevant for projects you would like to get. I've added this template to the additional materials, so you can use it for yourself. Now, take a look at another case. Sometimes chosen categories can be too general and include a lot of irrelevant projects. But don't worry, you can clarify your request using keywords. It can be the definition of a certain favor. For example, let's type logo design in the search field. Now you see all the projects where this task is mentioned. If you are skilled with a certain tool and would like to apply it to your projects, you can write it as a keyword. Near logo design, let's add the name of the tool for creating designs, Figma. By doing so, you will get a result that is related to logo design and Figma. However, you can also delete the logo and leave only the tool. If you would like to make the request closer to your needs, you can also add the niche or project type to work on. You can add it together with other keywords or go separately. Let's try to delete the previous keywords and type SaaS to find software-related projects. Now you have a list of these results in niche. The next action are the same as those we talked about in categories. Explore the first two or three pages. Read details about the desired projects and write in the table of specializations and skills shown there. I also recommend you pay attention to Upwork tips when you add your keywords. There might be some really relevant and often used keywords that you haven't thought of before.